What's up? Welcome back, everybody. DroidLife.com. I'm going to go through a tutorial today on how to show those of you that um, flashed over the SP Recovery SBF file and you're just kind of waiting there because you don't want to install a custom theme like this. I'm going to show those of you that are sitting at that stage and want to just go stock 2.1 rooted though, so you can overclock and do all that fun stuff. We're going to show you how to get there. Okay. So while you're watching this, just look at this as ignore my actual theme just assume that i'm sitting exactly where you are i'm at sp recovery sp recovery and i'm at stock 2.1 nothing crazy going on and that's pretty much it okay so look at it like that so i have sp recovery installed on there so we can you know go through this whole process just like you are okay so first step what we need to do is download uh, this file which is this ese81 update.zip which we've got posted at the site droid-life.com um, go ahead and download that and then we're going to go ahead and rename it to simply update.zip okay see that now update.zip okay from there hook your droid up and we're going to go ahead and mount. So go ahead and mount. And we are going to take this update.zip file and we're going to drop it right onto our SD card, putting it in no folder. So when we say we're dropping this on the root of our SD card, that means we're just dropping it straight on there and it's not going to be in any sort of folder. Okay, so if we go through this process and you get into an error that the process can't find the folder or the file, that means you must have placed it in a folder or something somewhere, okay? So don't put it in anything. It should be just sitting there as just a normal file in the middle of nowhere, okay? So if we look at this now, you can see right there, update.zip, and you can see it's nowhere, it's not in any of the folders I have up here. It is all the way down at the bottom is update.zip. Okay, so next thing we can do now is go ahead and unmount. So we will unmount, turn off, and go ahead and unplug that now. Let your phone kind of catch back up to itself. We're gonna move over here and we'll start going through this process. <clears throat> all right, so we've got the update.zip on the root of our SD card. And now all we really need to do is, well, first of all, you need to really make sure you have SP recovery flashed onto your phone. And we have instructions up. I'll post a link to them. So on your stock 2.1 droid, make sure you have SP recovery flashed on. Okay. So now we can turn off. And from there, we're going to boot into recovery. So go ahead and power off. And okay. Okay. Third time's a charm there. Turn your phone off. So remember, just ignore that whole theme I had going. Just assume that I'm exactly where you are running. 2.1 stock, no root, but I have SP recovery flashed over. Okay. So we boot into recovery, hold X and power. Okay. Keep holding X. So we get SP recovery up there. Okay, there it is. You can go ahead and slide that thing closed. And first thing we do is go to down to wipe data cache. Or I'm sorry, wipe data factory reset. So go ahead and hit OK on that. Go all the way down to yes. Hit OK on that. Let it roll through formatting. Shouldn't take too long. And the next thing we do down is wipe cache, hit OK, let it whip through that. You actually probably don't need to do that because it does that during the factory reset. But anyway, now we go down to install, hit OK. And then this second option says allow update.zip. Go to that first, click OK on that. And then we go down to install SD card slash update.zip. Okay. That means we're going to install that update.zip that we put on the root of our SD card. Anytime you see slash SD card, that means the root of your SD card. That's not a folder. That's just plain old right on your SD card. Okay. So go down to that, hit OK, and it'll start installing 2.1 with root. You'll see right there that www.peteralfonso.com. 
uh, some of you may not know, Peter Alfonso is the one that does Bugless Beast, and he's the one that came up with this 2.1 rooted for everyone. So you can thank him. You can probably visit PeterAlfonso.com if you want to. So anyway, let this roll through. Okay, so that process finished up, and as you can see, install from SD card complete. So up top here, we're gonna hit power button once to get back to that main menu. Scroll back up to reboot system now, click our camera button, and let her reboot. And when this thing boots back up, we should be back to stock 2.1, but we'll have root access now. All right, so we booted back up and as you can see, we have to go ahead and reactivate our phone. So I'm gonna do that and I will be right back. All right, so as you can see, Jesus, I can't talk. As you can see, we are back to stock. And if you go right down here, you'll see Super User Ninja. So we got Super User Permission, should have root access. You'll also see that I downloaded real quick ROM Manager and Terminal Emulator, just to show you that we d indeed do have uh, root access. So if you pull up terminal emulator and you just type SU and hit enter, you should get this request. And if you hit remember and allow and you get a little number sign right there, if you can see that, you are good. So that means we should have root access. Another way to tell is if you just pull up ROM manager and you can get out of that hit OK. If you go ahead and try to flash uh, one of the clockwork recoveries, it should prompt you uh, for access and if you don't have uh, root then it will tell you er. So I'll just show you really quick. We'll go ahead and flash that real quick. And it probably won't ask you until the very last second. So once that bar gets down there it'll prompt you for access. And there it is. So you click remember and allow, and then it should finish up and say that it is indeed flashed correctly. And sometimes it actually, oops, just dropped her there. Sometimes it actually gets a little hung up there and you can see the little spinny things no longer working. But if I hit home, actually we'll wait. If I go home and go back in there, usually prompts you right away. Oh, there it did too. Sorry about that, that looked a little weird. Um, it did prompt me and say, okay, but as you can see, a current recovery clockwork mod 1812. So definitely have root. This gives you stock 2.1. If we go into options, sorry, settings about, scroll down, we got 2.1 baseband, ESE, it says ESE 81 by Pete, but this is essentially just stock with root access. So that's basically how you get there. Um, if you want to overclock from there, um, set CPU, you got to have first, and then we got to download a new kernel. And I can go through that process if any of you need it, but I'll post links to a couple other videos on how to install kernels and things like that. So anyway, got comments, questions, hit us up at the blog, droid-life.com. Peace.